Hey guys, welcome back to GI Players. Shining. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> Shining Resonance Refrain. Wow. Okay, so, like, it's been a little while since I did the last episode, actually. It's been a whole day. I know. I did only three episodes in one day, and then I just go on to the next one. Yeah, and also I'm tired as hell, so, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's been a busy uh, 24 hours since I last did this. Anyways, last time. We wanted to talk to this little munchkin. Let's see what this little person has to tell, say. Yeah, tell a girl, boy, or a girl. Rapple! Oh, Sonya! Want me to whip something up? No, not today. I'm here to introduce the newest resident of the Seagull Inn. This is Yuma. Well, the name's Rapple. I'm an alchemist. Nice to meet ya. Likewise, but what's an alchemist? Wait, do you even know what an alchemy what alchemy is? <sighs> Fine. Listen up. Alchemy is real useful. You can make everything from military weapons to day-to-day -day supplies. For instance, I know this one guy who transmuted some stuff because he sacrificed his arm and his uh, brother's body and yeah, you get the joke. Raffles Workshop. You can use materials at Raffles Workshop to synthesize items and aspect pieces. With item synthesis, he can create potions and materials that will be useful on your journeys. It's actually been a long time since I've watched Full Metal Alchemist, so... Actually, it's been like, I think over five years since I've watched Full Metal Alchemist. Holy crap, I need to get back into that. I actually need to watch Brotherhood. Anyways! With aspect synthesis, he will create aspect pieces that will come in handy in battle. So, as long as you bring me the materials, I can make anything you'd need. Alright, that's pretty cool. Okay, thanks for that. Heh, <laughs> you're the honest type, huh? I like you! You can have this! Oh, hey, we got something for free? Alright. I don't know what that is. It's really pretty. That's an aspect piece. It gives you an aspect and... Well, let's just say it can make you powerful in all kinds of ways. Try sticking that on your weapon. I'll try it, thanks. <laughs> Come on, let's get going. See you, Rapple. Oh, Sonya, wait a sec. Uh, um, when you get back to the Seagull Inn, tell Primula... You forgot your change last time. Don't be so oblivious. I'll, uh... Hold on to it for you, so please swing by and pick it up! Huh? <laughs> okay, I'll tell her. Every word! <laughs> Aww, Sonya's so cute! Ugh, okay, fine. I'm counting on you! S see you, Apple! <laughs> Aww. I like Sonya. Guess I haven't said that enough. Alright, oh hey, there's the witch girl again. I wanna see if I can find her. Characters who own shops or facilities have shop icons on them. Talk to them and make use of their services. Alright. Let's, uh, let's see if I can get that map back up. Okay, there we go. How are you, dear? I'm doing fine, old lady. How are you doing? Mellow old lady. This place is so relaxed and peaceful. <laughs> Please enjoy your time here. I will. Thank you very much, lady. Oh, there's Witch Girl. How's it going? It's going good, girl. How you doing? Blackness. Hi, you want something? Lizalette. Wait, Lizalot? Lizalot. Hey Lizalot, this is Yuma. He's a new friend. I'm showing him around the city. Hey new guy. Charmed. Eh, I get it, because she's a witch. Oh, she's got two different colored eyes. That's kind of cool. N nice to meet you. If you want something, I'll sell it. 
You better have the money, though. Lizalot's Liz shop. I'm gonna have to hear someone pronounce her name, or else I'm gonna keep messing this up. Lizalot travels the world as a merchant, buying and selling items. You will need gold to buy items. Gold can be obtained by defeating monsters and selling items. Or kicking the crap out of uh, knights in the first uh, entry of the uh, game. Make sure to prepare for your journey when traveling around Alfine. Ooh, excuse me. She may look unfriendly, but she's not a, not a bad person. You can buy a lot of useful stuff here. Let's go! See you later, Lizalot! Sure, later. Yeah, she's kinda of cool. I like her dress. That's pretty much all the major sights. Are you tired, Yuma? A little. I've never seen such a bustling city. Yeah, it's the capital of Astoria, so you can get just about anything you need here. Thus far, we've been able to uh, hold off the Empire, so residents of the city have been able to live here in peace. Alright, let's return to the Seagull Inn and rest! Well, first of all, let me, let me talk to Lizalot here. Hello, Lizalot, let's see here. What do you got? Got potions, aether, uh, spirit seating, I don't know what that is. Uh, Yes, okay, I do not have enough of that. Magic stone that warps its wielder to Marga? I don't know what that is, but I'm intrigued. I'll get one. This one. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm a bit of an impulse buyer, so hey. That just got reflected. I like her eyes. I like her design in general. She looks so cool. Alright, what else we got? Oh, more water. Oh, hey, it's the uh, vital thing I just got in. Damn! I'm glad I got that thing for free! Uh. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess that's good enough. Uh, let me keep on to the remaining 451 pieces of gold. Let's okay. see if I can sell anything. Here we go, Talon. I'm guessing I can use that for, like, uh, alchemy stuff. A vital... Wait, I can sell that for 10 gold? The damn thing's like 3,000 gold pieces! Girl, you crazy. You, 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 you crazy. Have a nice day. Oh, hey, a save point. Sweet. Secrets or anything? Oh, there's a person up there. Oh, hello, little one. Me, me, me. There we go. Primula, are you Sonya's friend too? You don't look very bright. <laughs> well, you're an honest little kid. <laughs> Would you like a forecast? Hello, who are you? Hmm, the clouds around Elmore Greetwood look very fishy today. Huh? But the Cla Clavel Crags, the weather is a dry is as dry as ever. God, I'm tired. <laughs> what is she doing? She sure has some unique taste in fashion. Hey, you. Eh? M me? Are you interested in the weather? No, you don't need to tell me. You're super interested, aren't you? N no, I... No need to be shy. You have to be honest with yourself. Okay, I'll teach you about the weather. This is not how I thought this episode was gonna go. Stella is a scholar who studies the weather. She observes clouds pa cl cloud patterns and will tell you about areas where the weather has changed. The types of monsters and the items you can collect will vary according to the weather. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. And those things look awesome! Look at that frog! Holy crap! 
Also, that giant Gastardus is pretty damn cool. <laughs> Try learning about the weather from her. You may discover something new. See? You learned a lot by, about the weather, didn't you? Yeah, actually, I did. That was actually kind of cool. Um, sort of. Good, good! Then come back anytime! Wait, then come back sometime, okay? I'll teach you some more, and I'm sure it'll come in handy. Okay, thanks. What's that over there? Search points. You can collect many things in Alfheim. Try examining the shining search points. You might find something that will help you on your journey. Okay, what did I grab? Yes. All right, I got a spirit seed. That's kind of cool. Okay. Sup? to that camera. There we go. Hello, little one. Thank you. Right. Looks like uh, there's something else. Oh, what's that? What's this? Oh, it's the uh, inn. Oh, I thought that was... Back. I guess that was just the alchemy shop. Uncle Burroughs, this is the boy I was talking about. Damn! Uh, you're huge! Time. You're our dragon boy, then. I'm imagining this guy being like six foot seven and able to knock out a man with just tapping him with his index finger's knuckle. In other words, I don't want to piss this guy off. The king filled me in. Call me Burroughs. How are you holding up? Hi. It's, uh, nice to meet you. Oh, forgive me, Yuma. I should have mentioned. This is Burroughs, captain of the Knights of Astoria and an old family friend. His mustache and beard game is freaking awesome! Captain, if you're making a visit to the Seagull, that must mean you've got work for the Dragoneers, right? Right you are, my lady. A hunting contract. Seems something big is out terrorizing folk beyond the walls. What? A monster? More than your knights can handle if you're asking for a Dragoneer to deal with it. Well, the Knights of Astoria... See, we've got our hands full with something else right now, so... Can we please turn the music down a little bit so we can hear ourselves talk? I see. By all means, then, let's petition the Dragoneers. Hey, Sonia, there are other Dragoneers besides Kirika staying here, right? Three of them, all told, yeah. Kirika and two others all use the Seagull Inn as their base of operations. I'm okay with having music and, like, voice audio being equal and on par, but in this case... I need to tone that down a little bit. Next time in the options menu. Contracts to offer, they go around assisting the people of Marga instead. Right, that's cool. There's not a soul in Marga who can't tell you a story about a stout-hearted dragoneer. You can always rely on them. That's cool. Astoria owes generations of peace and comfort to their protection. By playing their harmonics, they can channel special magic and perform feats far beyond other people. All to keep the peace, of course. Harmonics? Is that what you call those instrument weapon things Kirika and Excella were using? I'm assuming so. Long ago, the shining dragon inside you gifted them to the ancients so they could protect themselves. There are supposedly seven harmonic armaments in all, three of which are here in Astoria. The elves of Wellant have another three. And the last one's in the care of that imperial princess. Wellant? Hmm. Oh, but isn't that Kirika's homeland? What's she doing fighting for Astoria instead? Well, Astoria and Wellantine relations are peaceful. The elves' ancestors lived here a long time ago, so we've been allies for generations. That's pretty cool. Obtain Sonya's trait, Dragoneer Caretaker. At any rate, I should go and see about this something big. You stay here where it's safe, Yuma. You're going all by yourself? I can't just demand a Dragoneer's time without doing any scouting first now, can I? It's my duty to aid them in my father's place, you know. 
Be that as it may, my lady. Maybe take Yuma with you all the same, just to be safe. All right, but I'm playing as uh, Sonya if I can. What? Me? <laughs> don't worry, Captain Burroughs. It's just a scouting op. You don't have to be so protective. Uh. Emma, could you make Yuma some tea? I'll be back before it's cold. Ah, my lady, wait. And she's gone. And she's gone. Emma, why didn't you stop her? Now I have to figure my plans out all over again. Plans? What in the world are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I didn't say a thing. <clears throat> now, how to fix this? Hey, Yuma! Little coward, are you letting the princess totter off into danger all on her own? Huh? But she said she was just scouting, so... No excuses. Get after her right now, boy. Hop to. Wait, why? Why do I have to do this? I'd do as he says, Your Radiance. Oh, hey, you're here. Burroughs is a very stubborn man. Arguing will only make him grumpier. <sighs> fine, fine. I'll go. I'm going. Allow me to accompany you, Your Radiance. If we hurry, we should be able to catch up before Sonya reaches the gates. Oh, I guess we're not doing voice acting now. Oh, Yuma, would you hold on a moment? Sure, what's wrong? You're heading to the wind that Windia grasslands, aren't you? There are a lot of monsters there, so be careful. If you get tired, you can come back to the Seagull Inn and rest anytime, okay? Y yes. Yes, if we return to the inn. Seagull Inn! Yuma and the party will stay at the Seagull Inn. The party's HP and MP can be restored by talking to Emma and resting. Make sure to rest often! Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Then, your radiance, let's go after Sonya, your radiance. <laughs> Be careful, you two. Alright, quest memo. You can open the quest memo by pressing ZR. The quest memo has notes about quests you've uh, accepted and their current status. Alright, so you are. Oh, traits and bonds! Traits are the quirks and characteristics of each character. You can change them in the bond diagram menu. Characters next to each other on the bond diagram will form different bonds depending on the combination of their traits. The type of bond and its strength greatly affect the resonance that occurs during battles. Set up the traits the way you like and create your own bond diagram. You can view the tutorials at the Seagull Inn at any time! Alright, that's kinda cool, I guess. Whoop! Be careful! Welcome back! Oh, okay, you're just. Oh. Uh. Oh, there we go. What's up? Oh, Yuma, I'm sorry, but could I get your help carrying the groceries? Aren't I supposed to be running after Sonya right now? Of course, it's the least I could do. You take such good care of us. <laughs> keep that talk up. Keep that. Yeah, keep up that talk, and you might find yourself with a sneaky extra helping. Of beef stew tonight, young man. <laughs> I'll look for a whoa. These are heavy. Hey Emma, looking pretty as ever, eh? You know what else is pretty? This morning's catch. You want some fish? On discount, just for you. You hot? Oh really? How generous. Yes, I think I'll. Huh? But Emma, you said you were making beef stew. Shut up. I did say that, but we can fry up the fish for breakfast tomorrow, can't we? Huh? 
that's a good thought. Oh, Yama! Just got a fresh harvest from the uh, or the orchard. Blah, blah. Orchards! If you want anything, why can't I speak my own language? Hmm. I've already got what I need for dinner, I'm afraid. Oh, no, no! That won't do! If you don't buy today, I won't have produce from these orchards again for a while! They're worth your money, I swear! Please give me money! Oh, I'm too easily persuaded. Yes, alright. Thanks, Emma! You look... You really know what's up! Emma, I don't think this stuff is really... Stewing material. <laughs> I suppose. Lunch tomorrow, perhaps? I almost went with the Gilbert Gottfried voice, but... Not again. Too soon. <laughs> oh, Emma! The meat pies just came out of the oven! You want them for your customers? I'll give you the wholesale discount! I left some top tier wine for you, Emma! Keep it away from the dragon ears, though! I know you've got SOME guests old enough to drink! Emma! Hey, Emma! Over here! You need veggies! We've got a sale on garden bundles! You're too kind. I suppose I'll just take everything. What? Really? Most of this has nothing to do with the stew! You sure do! Get off on the stew! Some people like to buy food for like... TWO WEEKS in advance for like meals and shit. Lord knows I bought like fish patties like weeks ago that I'm still working on. Well, be fine. This is why I have you here, dear. To carry things, hmm? Th that's not really the problem I was trying to... Oh boy. <laughs> Thank goodness for those discounts. I ended up saving quite a bit. You're super sure about this. There's a week's worth of groceries here. Some of it might spoil. Not if you eat it. It'll be fine, dear. I oh, it always ends up like this. I go to pick up a few things and I end up with mountains of food. What? You always buy this much? I didn't even go through all this before it goes bad. You eat it. Hey, Primula, what's the big rush? Oh, yeah, that's right. I almost forgot about Primula. That was the little girl I ran into, and I forgot was also part of the end because this has been a whole day since I last did the uh, other episode. Uncle Burrow said he's bringing a lot of the knights over to the seagull. Well, there you go, Yuma. Food for the knights. But the pantry's all empty. There's no way we're going to have enough to feed them all, even if we went to the market right now. <laughs> it's all right, Primula. Look! What's with all the food? Holy crap, Mom! That's way more than enough! This is great! Thanks, Mom! Amazing! It all worked out in the end! See, I told you. We always find some place to put it. I've never had to waste food in my life. I guess I'm just lucky. I like Emma. I like her. I like a lot of the people in this movie. In this movie game. Be careful. God. <laughs> All right, where do I go? Uh. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to that one. Back to the alchemy shop. What do I need to talk to you for? Trying to find Sonya here! Well, since there was a... more bubble, I figured might as well check it out. Hey Yuma, what'll it be? Well, today I'm gonna need... Hey Yuma! Wait! I said wait! 
Eh? Primula? What's she doing here? Primula? Sorry, I didn't hear you calling for me. Must have been the birds distracting me. What's up? I kept shouting your name, and you didn't hear me at all! And now you're making me come off to a place like this? Ugh! A place like this? What's that supposed to mean, huh? It's not like I want you around, Baka! Is that what passes for a customer service voice here, then? As an actual service industry worker, I'm offended! Damn! Hey, Yuma! Let's go home and get dinner! Forget this place! I'll make you whatever you want! I'm trying to find Sonya! Premula's cooking, huh? I need to get some things from Rappel first, Premula. Can you go home and get started without me? What? Ha! Hear that? Kids should stay home and let the adults do real business. But why are you? I hate you, Rappel! You really shouldn't say that kind of stuff to her, you know? Rappel, it's not okay. Hey, Yuma, can I ask you a question? Uh, what's up? What, um... What do you think of Primula? I think she's a kid. And is starting to sound like Toad for some reason. What do I think of her? I mean, she's Emma's daughter. She helps run the seagull. I'm not sure what you're looking for here. No, no, I mean, do you, you know, like... Dude, she looks like she's 10. Huh? Like? Of course I like Primula. That's not what he's meaning, dude. What? Well, there's a huge age difference between you guys! Eh, that's not a big deal. She's fun to have around, so... I like her a lot, actually. Dude, shut up. Y you like Primula a lot? Primula. Annunciation! Yuma and, Yuma and Primula. Yuma and Primula. She, she even cooks meals for him. No way! Well, you should be an ass to her, Rapple! She really has it together. Cooking, cleaning, mining the inn. I hope whoever she ends up marrying appreciates that. Yeah, yeah. With those homemaking skills, she'll make a good... Wait, whoever she ends up marrying? I thought you were eyeing her! What? Mary? No! <laughs> no, Rapple. There's a huge age difference between us! Oh... Uh, then what is Primula to you? I think? She's like a sister. Yeah, this must be what having a little sister feels like. I mean, I just met her, like, a little while ago, but yeah. Totally sister. S sister So no marriage? Do! Calm yourself! More importantly, Rapple, there's something I want you to... Oh, oh, oh! Sister! I get it! Yeah, you're a real good brother, Yuma. The best! Alright then, what do you want? Big sale! Discounts on everything! Take my whole su- My whole back catalog, you thief! Okay, thanks, Rapple. What's gotten into him? Well, obviously, Rapple has the hots for Emma. That was totally worth the tap. Okay, so where do I go to find Sonya? Oh, she's still in the party, it looks. Excuse me. I can't really remember where I was supposed to go. Maybe it was that. Hello? Alright, that was a nice little loading screen. Yay, I did it correct! <laughs> Hirika, Yuma, what's up? Uh, well, stuff happened, so now we're helping you, too. Oh, yeah? Thanks, you two! 
Well, I don't think it's anything we should be thanked for. Huh? What's wrong, Yuma? That is tall. I just noticed that strange tower over there, so I was just wondering what it is. Oh, that. People call it the Unreachable Tower. The Unreachable Tower? Yep, no matter how fast you walk or how hard your horse runs, it's no use. You can't get close to it at all. I, at least that's what people have always said. I see. What an interesting tower. Eh, it is kind of interesting. Oh yeah, take this, Yuma. You obtained the world map! I'm sure that'll be helpful. Oh, a map? Yep, see these marks me See, these marks mean... Okay, we're getting a tutorial on a map. You can view the continent of Alfheim by pressing the minus button to open the world map. The world map displays the next destination. Check it when you are going to a new location. One look at the map should tell you where you are and where you'll need to go. Don't be afraid to check it when you need to. Okay. I think you're ready now. Let's go! Field chats! Sometimes characters initiate a conversation while on the field. Various interactions can take place, including small talk and advice regarding your current ob objective. Depending on the message, you can respond by pressing L or R. Okay. Yes! Woohoo! Yay! I'm Sonya. Alright. Let's kill this goblin! Oh, that's the map. Oh yeah, that's right. Alright. We'll see what conducting is in the next episode! See ya soon!